It's been three days since Topeka received two to three inches of snow, and some city streets have yet to be cleared. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live in southwest Topeka, where one woman is worried that the icy streets will cause more issues in the morning. Dan? Jace, Brooke, on many of the side streets around here, there's still a pretty good layer of ice on the ground. For, along southwest Kent Street from 27th to 22nd Street, it looks as though the roads haven't been touched. If you look one street over, however, the road is completely cleared. Liz Ortega is worried that if classes are held tomorrow, the roads won't be in good enough condition to be safe. Tomorrow morning when school is back in session, this intersection down here right at the school will not be a pretty sight. And there are several intersections in this neighborhood that I avoid until the streets are completely clear. Um, just because the slightest incline going down 25th Terrace onto Fairlawn, if you're not just creeping along, you will slide right on into Fairlawn Road. Ortega says that it is frustrating that she is required to keep her sidewalk cleared within 48 hours, but the streets aren't. Now, I did reach out to city leaders, and many of them didn't get back to me or wished not to comment. And I, uh, the city of Topeka did reach out or reach back, but they just gave me a link to their website. Live in Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Dan. And we did look into some of the city of Topeka's policies on snow removal, and here's what we found. The city's website shows that the priority of how fast each road is cleared and 25th and Kent Streets are not listed for clearing at all. Part of the city ordinance says a homeowner has to clear their sidewalk within 48 hours after a snow or ice event. And if that's not done, a $20 fine could be fined on them, or they could also have a $50 fine for the second time it's not done. As for the city, their website says they will have complete control over primary streets within 24 hours of the snow stopping. This video you're seeing now was taken about seven hours before their self-imposed deadline. It shows an accident on Wanamaker, which was caused by ice and snow-covered conditions. The snow stopped falling just before midnight Friday night, so the city's policy would be that all primary roads would be under control by midnight Saturday night.